Okay, so now George, we want to talk about the issue of risk factors for surgery. And naively, I think I just sort of assume that it's just, you know, posture is the, the one and only issue. But again, from some of our preliminary discussions, I have the sense that there's more to it than that. So could you tell us a little bit about what you see as risk factors for us with surgery? Well, when we talk about risk factors, what we're essentially looking at is the work-related musculoskeletal disorders, which in the field of ophthalmology is no uh, stranger to that. So posturing is not only in terms of what our thoracic or our spinal positioning is in, but even looking at the cervical spine, uh, looking at even wrist positions, and especially if you're having to work around the patient's body, or if a patient is presenting in such a fact that you yourself have to start to deviate laterally or whatnot. So gripping is also another issue, even something as simple as gloves as we have have here right now. Those are considered risk factors as well if the gloves aren't fitting well. So Dr. Bell, and you have yourself a glove in your hand. This is one that's quite a bit smaller than I normally wear, so we'll see whether or not I can actually get it on. So some of the considerations when wearing gloves, you want to ensure that the glove is not too tight across the palm, and you can see certainly perhaps it's not going to show up so well here, but it is quite tight across the palm even if the air was to come out, and certainly you don't want it to restricting around the wrist because that can include blood flow and even sensation. You certainly don't want also the gloves to be too tight around the fingers or too snug where you can't even uh, sort of feel for the work that you're doing. And over here we have also another glove. So T Tina's putting on a glove that is going to be larger than what she's normally used to wearing. So certainly the glove is going to hinder her movement. It's not going to allow her to actually get a good feel for the work that she's doing. So a glove should have a good feel across the wrist. It should have a good feel across the palm. And again, you want it snug onto the fingers, but not so loose where you see a lot of wrinkles, and certainly not so tight where you're unable to see the color of your skin anymore.